Dollywood Explained. Dollywood is a 150-acre theme park owned and operated by both Dolly Parton and Hershen Family Entertainment. The park features more than 40 different rides and attractions, ranging from thrilling roller coasters to smaller family rides. The wide selection has allowed the park to become the biggest ticketed tourist attraction in Tennessee, as it hosts over 3 million visitors each year. The park itself is located within Pigeon Forge, a town known for its abundance of rides, shows and attractions. Dollywood started its life back in 1961. It was originally known as Rebel Railroad and consisted of a steam train, general store, blacksmith shop and saloon. In 1970, the attraction changed hands and therefore names. It was given the name Gold Rush Junction. Four years later, Jack and Pete Hershen bought the small attraction, altering its name to Gold Rush. For the 1977 season, the park was renamed Silver Dollar City, Tennessee, becoming the sister park of the Silver Dollar City in Missouri. In 1986, Dolly Parton, a famous singer-songwriter, actress and author, brought an interest in the attraction. The park then reopened for the season as the well-known and loved Dollywood. The park's first roller coaster was constructed before it gained its current name. In 1978, Blazing Fury, a steel enclosed dart ride, opened to the public. The ride was built in-house by Silver Dollar Tennessee themselves. It is themed around the story of an old mountain town being set on fire by Russians. Blazing Fury was the first of the park's nine roller coasters to be constructed, eight of which still operate today. The second oldest operated roller coaster can be found within the Craftsman Valley section of the park. The ride, named Tennessee Tornado, is a steel custom looping roller coaster constructed by Aerodynamics. It features several notable elements, including various overbank turns and a 110 foot tall vertical loop. This loop is the largest inversion that can be found on any Aerodynamics coaster in the world. Tennessee Tornado opened in 1999 and consists of a track layout which is heavily formed to the terrain. It measures 163 feet high and reaches the top speed of 63 miles per hour, making it the fastest steel roller coaster at Dollywood. The ride is famous for being one of the smoother aerodynamics coasters as it was designed by coaster legend Alan Schilke. Interestingly enough, the ride was originally planned to feature more inversions in a longer layout, but was modified to the layout that you see today. 2001 saw the debut of Dollywood Splash Country, a water park adjacent to the theme park. The water park has been continuously expanding and is now home to 27 water slides. Then in 2004, Thunderhead, Dollywood's first wooden roller coaster, opened to the public. Thunderhead was manufactured by Great Coasters International, often referred to as GCI. It features 22 turns and 32 crossovers, common to twister layouts. The ride was also the first roller coaster to feature a station flyby. It measures 100 feet high and has the maximum speed of 54 miles per hour. Thunderhead opened to great reception as it is widely regarded as one of the best wooden roller coasters in the world. In fact, when it opened, it won the Golden Ticket Award for the best new roller coaster of the year. A single year later, the country fair area of the park was renovated. This brought a total of 10 new rides to the area, including Sideshow Spin, a small children's coaster. This is the main section of the park for smaller children's rides. However, there are lots of family attractions scattered throughout the park, such as Daredevil Falls, Mountain Slidewinder, and River Battle. Families can also enjoy the park's 40 minute long train ride, which takes passengers up and down the mountain. A visit to Dollywood would not be complete without tasting the renowned cinnamon bread at the Grist Mill. This savoury treat is one of the many delicious foods Dollywood offers, from barbecue to funnel cakes to the world famous Lumberjack Pizza. In 2006, the park's former topple tower, known as Timber Tower, made its debut. This was later removed for the 2012 season due to lawsuits between Huss, the manufacturer of the ride, and Dollywood itself. Mystery Mine, the first Gersla Eurofighter to be built in the United States, opened in 2007. Mystery Mine is well known for its wacky and original layout. The ride is themed to that of a haunted mine operation, and features two vertical lift hills with a single beyond vertical drop. Theming played a large part of the construction of the coaster, as half of the ride takes place indoors. Four years later, Barnstormer, the park's first SNS attraction, was constructed. The ride is a scream and swing flat. Riders are propelled forwards and backwards in a swinging motion, similar to that of a backyard swing set. It is widely considered one of the best screaming swings in the country due to its theming and long ride time. It wasn't until 2012 when Dollywood saw its next large scale roller coaster in the form of Wild Eagle, the first B&M wing coaster in the United States and the park's biggest investment at the time. The ride is themed to the flight of an eagle, allowing riders to soar through the air. Guests plummet 135 feet and enter the large vertical loop at the top speed of 61 miles per hour. A huge eagle sculpture can be found at the entrance of the ride, while the trains themselves resemble the flying bird. The coaster was a success, gaining the best new ride of 2012 from the Golden Ticket Awards. 2013 saw the introduction of a nightly fireworks show as well as an extension to the park's opening hours. During the dates in which the fireworks occur, the park is open from 10am to 10pm, giving guests 12 hours to experience the attractions. 
The event occurs during the peak of the summer season. To further cater for the family market, Dollywood opened Fire Chaser Express, a steel lodged roller coaster, in 2014. The ride was the second Gersler roller coaster to enter the park and features two launches and a chain lift hill. It is famous for being one of the few family coasters to go backwards. Riders of the attraction have been recruited by the volunteer Fire Station 7 to protect the Great Smoky Mountains. The experience itself features many turns and twists, as well as fire and sound effects. Similar to Mystery Mine, theming played a large part in the construction of the roller coaster. For the 30th anniversary of the park, Dollywood opened the new Dream World Resort, an on-site hotel in which guests can stay. Dollywood's newest attraction, Lightning Rod, is a wooden roller coaster manufactured by Rocky Mountain Construction and features the world's first launch on a wooden roller coaster. To this day, it is the largest investment the park has made at 22 million US dollars. Themed around hot rod cars, riders accelerate up the lift hill before cresting the 165 foot high drop. The LSM launch allows the trains to reach the top speed of 73 miles per hour, making it the world's fastest wooden roller coaster and beating Goliath at Six Flags Great America by only one mile per hour. Unfortunately, due to the new technology used on the ride, the Lightning Rod has suffered several delays, pushing back its original opening date of March 2016. As of early August 2016, the ride is still in technical rehearsal and has not officially opened. However, those who have ridden the ride claim it to be one of the best RMCs to date and by far the most thrilling attraction at the park. Dollywood itself is host to many events throughout the year, including concerts, music festivals and of course, the annual visit from Dolly Parton herself, where she will often sing for visitors as well as take part in the park's parade. Dollywood's success has caused guests from all over the country to want to experience the great attractions and atmosphere offered at the park. Dollywood has even won multiple Golden Ticket Awards for Best Food, Shows and the Best Christmas Event, Smoky Mountain Christmas, where the park is decorated in lights and despite the cold weather, most attractions continue to operate. Due to all these rides, awards and experiences, Dollywood is now considered one of the best theme parks in the country.